Hello, rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. It's Saturday, December 23rd, 2023. We headed out a little early and got there before the sun was even up. And it's a good thing we did, as when we arrived, we could already hear a train horn in the distance, and we already had something coming. But before we get started, make sure you help out the channel by liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing the video wherever possible to help grow this channel's reach. And if you really want to help out a struggling YouTuber and help the channel be able to continue making videos every day, we now have Super Thanks available, so you can hit the Super Thanks button and make a small donation to help keep this channel going and supplement the tiny amount of money I get from YouTube. But if not, your likes and views are thanks enough. Now, let's get on to our video here. A northbound intermodal train right at dawn with a single ET44AH right on the head end. This was one of my first experiments with this bone filming in this level of low light and it didn't turn out the best unfortunately. But any train's better than no train. Even some Amazon Prime containers on this one. Here I moved a little closer to see if the lighting would be any better, but it really wasn't. It's still kind of blurry. And check that out. Another Jeevo brings up the tail end, running his rear end DPU. And as that locomotive's headlight shrinks into the distance, we would settle into wait as it would be more than an hour and a half before anything would arrive. And check that out, three locomotives on this one. An ES40 DC leads, followed by a YN2 paint AC44CW, and an EMD GP40-2. A pretty decent catch as far as CSX trains go. A lot of boxcars mixed in on this one. And it had started raining by this point, and the rain was very cold. And check this out, an old Chicago Northwestern boxcar still trooping along here. And a rusty old rail box. And a second Chicago Northwestern car here. And about four minutes later, the tail end passes us by, brought up by this little two bay covered hopper. After this, it would be about half an hour before any other traffic would arrive to our location that day. Check that out, a flared radiator SD70 Mac 
is in the lead. An awesome catch. The flare radiator versions of the SD70 Mac used to be becoming exceedingly rare on the CSX, but lately they've instituted a program where they're starting to rebuild and put them back into service. I don't know if this particular unit was a rebuild or not, but it was still nice to see. And here we see a nice clean Graffiti P TTX boxcar. A little bit of everything was on this manifest train. And soon enough, the tail end of this train passes us by, brought up by a high top gondola. After this train passed, it would only be about 10 minutes before we would have a southbound arriving on the other track. And another awesome catch. Five locomotives on this one. Two GEs up front, followed by three EMDs. That central locomotive is a road slug, probably made it to the locomotive behind it. And a Tropicana juice car. and a lot of tankers on this one. This train was accelerating out and took quite some time to pass us by. And here we see a Union Pacific covered hopper car. And have a look at this. An old chassis system, high cube box car, still wearing the Chessy Cat logo and trooping along. Awesome. And as we pan back here, there's another cut of oversized box cars, and we have a second Chessy system car here. And here we see some of the new paint scheme CSX gondola cars with the white lettering. And finally, about 12 minutes later, the tail end of this train passes us by. And since I'd been out for hours at that point in the cold rain, I decided to go home. So that's all our trains for this episode of French Fried Trains. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.